Hey guys, Micah here from Black Bear Custom Kydex. I am bringing an exciting video to you today talking about a sheath I recently made for a raffle that I held during a, my Kydex Day event at the Army Barracks Store in Scarborough, Maine. Um, <clears throat> so I recently acquired a black, uh, sorry, a uh, Steel Will Sentence 102. It's a very nice knife, combat style, um, quite like it. And I decided though, I just didn't really have much personal use for it. It was definitely just a novelty item in my collection. So I wanted to raffle it off uh, instead of selling it and uh, make a special sheath for it. And, uh, you know, just just provide something really high quality, really cool for uh, the people that are turning out for my event. So I'll give you a closer look at the sheath here. <clears throat> I have dubbed it the BBCK Survivalist Sheath. Um, and it just sports several attachments and a couple different carry methods. It's very cool. Uh, first off, the Kydex is Cryptek Neptune, this blue. And I've got uh, Black Raptor, which is sort of that faux leather look. Uh, very cool. And all right, nice positive click going in. So as you can see, I've put a mini Bic lighter on the front. And it's, it's in there nice and tight, but it's easy enough to get out. It's not going to fall out, but you can remove it pretty easy. Um, I've got an AccuSharp diamond sharpening, fine diamond sharpening rod here on the front. Um, I know a lot of guys use these and they say just unscrew the cap and take it totally off to use it. Honestly, I think it's a lot easier to just pull this little, uh, I don't even know what this is called, <laughs> this little clip off and then you can just push it out the front here. So the reason the raffle winner doesn't currently have this is I was a little bit surprised to see I had uh, originally made this with a different AccuSharp and uh, this little tail cap here popped off. I'm not sure when or how, but I decided to buy another one because I couldn't find it and I didn't want to give obviously a uh, you know anything defective or uh, missing parts. So I bought another AccuSharp and threw it in here, but the retention was so loose on it it was just wobbling around. So I don't know... Uh, exactly why that is. Obviously AccuSharp is just not making consistent uh, diameters on their on their casings here, but not a big deal. I just took it back to my shop here and uh, tightened it back up. So now if it's quite snug and it's not rattling around or anything. Alright, so the AccuSharp there. Here I've got a 3 eighths, <clears throat> 3 eighths inch thick fire steel. I put a little piece of paracord on it to make it a little easier to draw out there. And uh, the fire striker, or sorry, the fire steel striker is tucked right here in the paracord. So when you need it, you can just pull that out of there. As you can see, it's got a leather dangler. And this is about 15 feet of paracord on there in case you need it. And I've got a tech lock angled for a comfortable cross draw. So there's quite a bit of stuff on here. Two carry methods, I guess three if you wanted to count this as a, you know, you could wear it as a left-handed scout. Uh, scout carry as well um, and uh, a few attachments on there the retention on it is excellent it's not falling out of there anytime soon there's no rattle obviously you can hear you know other things rattling this uh, this D ring rattles around a little bit but that's the nature of the beast and the draw on it is super smooth and of course the kydex click so I think I determined that the value of this sheath, this exact uh, configuration, carry methods, attachments, and the Kydex that I've got on there, I would sell for about $140. The knife was about $85, so I'm claiming that this is a total value of $225. And the lucky winner was Todd at the Army Barracks. So Todd, I hope you really enjoy this sheath, and anybody else that wants one, definitely contact me. Um, I would be excited to build another sheath like this. This is an awesome system. It's rugged uh, and it's just fun. It's a lot of fun and I would I think I'm gonna make myself one actually uh, just just for camping trips and things like that because I really like this. Kind of sad to see it go but I'm happy that it'll be going to good good use <coughs> and uh, yeah that's what I got for you today. So stay tuned for more videos like, subscribe, share, comment, uh, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and right here on YouTube. All right, guys, take care.